Cancer, welcome back to Chasey Toro. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Don't forget to hit the like button and support your fellow Cancerians. Whether you are watching for the first time or you've watched my channel many times, I appreciate each and every one of you so very much. And it would be fantastic if you could hit the like button. It's super important also because it helps others to understand your energy better. So it truly is a win-win. I have the new awesome deck called the Cosmic Creatures, okay? They're very in-depth messages, and I want to read them for you today. I picked them up. Um, there's a local vendor that um, sells a lot of healing stones and um, just really amazing things. And it's the first time I've seen these, and they're absolutely amazing. Okay, so your messages have come up with the whale, <laughs> not surprisingly, Cancer, the turtle. So we're going to go ahead and start reading messages for you. So if this resonates for you, definitely stay till the end because I'm going to pull some messages from what your person would like to say to you, whoever is on your mind, Cancer, whether it's a love interest um, that you're currently separated from or one that you're with, but you're having issues with, whatever the case may be, these messages may be, may be for you. So stay till the end of the reading, okay? And for those of you that know me well, there will be a part two. I'm going to get into that shortly, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is a, a fantastic, I usually do, or I have been doing like unboxing. Um, but I didn't do it for this deck cause I was too anxious to use it. <laughs> okay. So we have whale here. Spirit is letting you know that this is about wisdom, vessel and depth. Wow. Possessing wisdom as deep as the ocean and intuition as wide as the eye can see. I feel like that's you for sure, okay? The whale is a vessel of the mysterious unconscious breaking the surface of the water every time it needs to breathe. The whale implores you to dive deeper into your soul and explore the emotions that run through you. Water represents emotion and often emotions beneath the surface cycling through our bodies unseen but felt. The whale asks you to regulate your mind and emotions, becoming the commander of your ship. So things don't pressurize and shoot up through the blowhole. Sometimes we numb ourselves to feel better. But the whale encourages you to go down to the bottom of the ocean and face your deepest fears. Connect with the cosmic power of water and all that is the element you hold in the vessel of your body. Big things are coming. You've just got to wait for the right wave. Yes, I totally feel that's your energy cancer. Beautiful. Very nice. I don't even think I need to go into exactly what that means. I mean, that was totally self-explanatory. Okay, awesome. Then, of course, we've got the turtle. <laughs> it should just made me laugh because, you know, a lot of us water signs right now just feel like everything is so slow. And that's why Spirit's saying we kind of need to like kind of filter our motions and kind of, you know, before we blow our stack kind of thing. Right, Cancer? Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is reading is for anybody with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you're if you're brand new, check out your other placements. If you don't know what they are, you can go to astrosofa.com. It's free to calculate those other placements. Okay, Cancer. And of course, cross watchers, you're welcome here. Okay. Slow and steady, the turtle urges you to move at your own pace. While the turtle is slow moving on land, it is actually quite agile in the water. Following seasonal currents to its destination with its power to swim, even against the current. So that means even if you feel like things are being slow, things are still moving against the current, okay? Even though it is slow, it's still moving. As a symbol of the earth, the turtle reminds us to access our center of peace and tranquility. We can get easily discouraged when we compare ourselves to others. But when we focus on our innate gifts and how we can serve, we release judgment over where we are in comparison to our peers. The turtle reminds you to concentrate on your tasks at hand and measure your success by your own standards. This increases your sense of mindfulness, allowing you to set your own pace and run in your own race. With persistence and steady effort, eventually you will get to your destination. Sometimes slowing down is exactly what you need in order to speed up. Okay, the so spirit is saying if you need a period of rest before you speed back up, that's perfectly fine. As long as you're persistent and you go at your own pace and you go with the flow, you will get there. Okay, as they say, slow and steady wins the race. So I feel like that is really, um, you know, because us water signs in general we 
are such go-getters and we get discouraged I feel like if things don't go as fast as we expect them to so spirits just telling you again to regulate your emotions go with the pace if you need to slow down and take a break whether that's work or relationship or family situation then do that do what's best for you yes okay so there's maybe a lot of decisions and choices or you're just kind of feeling overwhelmed at the moment. You're trying to manifest. You're trying to make things happen. Maybe you feel like they aren't going fast enough, whatever that is for you. Okay, so you may feel like things are in limbo. Things are upside down. They're not really going the way you want. But spirit is saying, you know, you're headed towards growth and happiness and success. Albeit slow, it's coming, Cancer. So don't get discouraged, I feel, is a message for you right now. There may be a reunion or a celebration or something coming together that you've been waiting for. You want things to get fair and balanced. You feel like things perhaps aren't fair and balanced right now. Things aren't happening. Spirit wants you to know to keep making plans. Things will become just and fair. Keep making plans. Keep manifesting. And just because you're seeing others maybe go faster than you or things happening for them more quickly, again, don't get discouraged. Things are happening the way that they're meant to for you. Oh my gosh, they're flying out of my hands. There you go. So if you feel like you've been really kind of stressed out and things haven't been that calm, Spirit's letting you know things will get more peaceful for you, okay? Some of you may be deciding to travel, getting away somewhere. It could be here. It could be dealing with a Scorpio or Pisces or another Cancer, okay? Uh, if there's a relationship that's been really stressful for you, Spirit's letting you know that that is going to a much calmer place. Things will start to balance out, ease up. Again, having patience, okay? Being divinely guided, listening to your guidance here. Things are going to start to balance out for you. Temperance is all about balance. That's major arcana. So things are going to start to go a lot smoother for you here, okay? For some of you, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Sagittarius, but this is also like balancing things out maybe in a marriage or commitment or headed towards marriage or commitment or relocation, Um for some of you, this is you being very traditional, wanting to do things right, wanting to be patient, being patient, and trying to balance those emotions out so that you can kind of conquer and move forward and get past this difficult, stressful time in your life. Okay, for some of you, it's a marriage. For others of you, it's you're moving or you're going through some kind of transition or something. You're moving on from something and it's taking a lot of your, um, your strength right now. You're really trying to stay balanced, okay? Remember to flip these energies. If it's not you, it's whoever you're dealing with. Clarify the Hierophant. Who's the Hierophant? Wow, the sun came out again. So I feel like for some of you, if you were dealing with a King of Cups or if this is you, some of you may be moving on from a marriage or commitment or hearing that somebody is, somebody that you're dealing with, it's coming to light, coming out into the open. Why is the sun here? Could be dealing with a Leo for some of you here. Clarify the sun for, for cancer. Okay, some of you are going to find out, gain the clarity from a king of cups that there has been perhaps some, uh, some challenging times going on here. Okay, it can be that somebody has been kind of competitive. This can be competitiveness, jealousy, arguments, drama, uh, fighting, arguing, all those things here. Okay, because somebody's been keeping an eye on somebody. Maybe maybe somebody's upset because you've been keeping an eye on them. I'm getting more of the feeling that somebody's really been trying to hold back and control their emotions here in a marriage or commitment because there has been a lot of arguments or disagreements or jealousy here. So if you're in a marriage of commitment, it can be that your partner's very jealous, maybe kind of keeping an eye on you, or again, feel free to flip those energies. Why is Page of Swords here? That's a younger energy. So you could be dealing with somebody who's rather immature, or somebody's dealing with somebody that's immature. Okay, somebody's maybe thinking that there's somebody else. So keeping an eye on somebody. Um, it, it's like three's a crowd. That can be business with the Three of Pentacles as well. Or maybe somebody is, and that's only for a handful of you, seeing somebody else at work or somebody suspecting or um, keeping an eye on you, thinking that you're maybe seeing somebody else at your place of work. It could be. 
clarify the Three of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. I also got Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Wow, Three of Pentacles clarified with the Three of Pentacles. So definitely something about a third person or work, business responsibilities, suspecting maybe something. There's too many people involved. Somebody suspecting that there's too many people involved. Maybe somebody's wanting to get away from a commitment here or move and they're assuming or maybe they're working at a distance or you're working at a distance and somebody's suspecting that there's something going on. Why are you wanting to work away from home, maybe? Or there was competition for a job, business partner. Reclarify the three pentacles, please, for cancer. Ah, because somebody's being cold and distant. Somebody's being cold and distant and wanting to move away or cut out a marriage or commitment or business partner or just somebody suspecting that somebody's seeing somebody at their place of work or going to move towards somebody to work, something like that. There's jealousy and somebody's like keeping an eye on somebody because somebody's cold and distant and wanting to kind of, they're getting away from them emotionally. They're wanting to move on away from this person. So either you're wanting to move on away from a person or somebody's moving away from you or there's somebody else here in the picture that's suspecting your person moving towards you. Again, take it how it resonates for you. I'm getting so many messages here, but definitely somebody silent, cold, distant, and it's creating a lot of um, suspicion, I want to say, around a place of work or some kind of connection here. Why is the King of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Wanting to balance out a situation. We've got balance and balance with temperance and Six of Pentacles. Somebody's being suspected of giving to too many people. Being emotionally distant. Wanting to travel or move on. And somebody is getting suspicious and keeping an eye on that person. It's almost like, where are you going? Somebody's really kind of investigating somebody. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, wow, just as I said that, Cancer, the Ace of Swords, looking for clarity, looking for truth. Somebody's searching for the truth, for clarity. Is there something going on at work or why are you getting away from me or why are you cutting me off? Why are you being silent? I want clarity here with the sun. Somebody's trying to temper their emotions, trying to see what's going on. Looking for the truth, looking for answers. So that could be you, could be your person. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with Cancer's person of interest, angels and spirits for the balance of April? So part two, for those of you that want to check into that, that'll be pinned down below in the description area as well as the comment section. You have three options. Go check it out for subscriptions to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior family gives you unlimited part twos, okay? But you can also choose the individual purchase. Doesn't matter to me. It's all an option you ask for. It's there. I will dig much deeper. I'm also going to use the after tarot to get the next six months to see what is the outcome. We have the king of wands. So your person may be looking on how to take action. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Why is, why is the king of wands here? Someone is healing from a toxic situation. I feel like the person you're dealing with, okay, we've got the King of Wands here, Star Energy and um, Capricorn Energy here with the Devil Energy. I feel like your person wants to take action and it's, it's kind of like I want to heal a situation or balance a situation out with you. They want to tell you the truth. They want to give you the clarity. Okay, Cancer, this person may be keeping an eye on you to see if there's someone else, if you're seeing someone else. This may have been somebody who's been quite silent. Okay, I feel like they're coming up as the King of Wands. They're taking on a lot of energy. Or you have more than one person. You may be seeing a fire sign, a water sign, and an air sign. But this may also represent that your person is, is balancing their motion. They're taking on the energy of um, water, air, and fire, meaning that they're quite emotional. They're silent, keeping an eye on you, trying to temper their emotions. 
but they can't stop thinking about you here with the devil energy here. They feel tied and bound to you. They're looking for clarity, maybe to see if you're seeing somebody else, entertaining someone else. Why is the star energy here for cancer? Okay. So if you have recently ended things or something happened, okay, they want to heal that. They feel like maybe things have ended between you. They feel like their wish, their dreams, their hopes with you have ended. And they're looking for clarity to see if there's somebody else perhaps. They may feel like you've moved on or you're moving on. Clarify the devil energy, please, for cancer. Mm, Ace of Wands. This Your person here wants to take the action here. They feel a lot of passion and intensity with you. They feel very bound and tied to you. Like the King of Wands with the Devil and the Ace of Wands all tied together. It's almost like they, you know, they're, it is, they're very intensely thinking of how to take the action and heal the situation. I feel like they think that you've, you've ended or maybe you've moved on. Maybe you have. But they're silent. It's like they're, they're not telling you how they feel here because they're, they've been, um, keeping their emotions down, down here. They haven't been sharing them. And it's like they're keeping an eye on you here. Wondering if you're giving to others here. Clear for the Ace of Wands for Cancer. The Empress. They look at you as their Empress. Or you're dealing with a Libra Taurus. But I feel like they look at you as their Empress. You may be already a mother, a single mother. Or they look at you as a future mother of their children. A wife, a mother. Um, significant other, parental figure, female, male, it doesn't matter. This is, I'm excited about you. I feel a lot of passion towards you. I cannot stop thinking about you. I feel like you're already mine. Trying to see what you're doing, what you're up to. Trying to gain the clarity if there's somebody else in your life is what I'm getting. You are their wish. But this may also have been somebody who has been quite selfish, self-centered. It could be. Let's get the mutual energies. The mutual energies between Cancer and the person of interest for the balance of April. I feel like you and this person are just, I, I want a break. I want to take a break. I need a holiday. And the first message out the gate is the Six of Swords. So it's kind of like, I want to get away from here. It's been stressful. I just want to take a vacation. So I feel like both of you are kind of like exhausted, tired, needing time away here. Or maybe they want to come and see you with the Six of Swords and they're trying to see if you're already dating someone. It could be. They're looking to see. They're keeping an eye on you. They're heartbroken. You're heartbroken, I feel. Maybe you're both keeping an eye on each other, trying to see what's going on here. So for some of you, definitely there's been a split up here, a break. We've got the death energy here, the star. It's like, I want to heal this situation. I can't stop thinking about you on how to take the action. I'm trying to control my emotions here. Yeah. So it's like you're both trying to look ahead and figure out what's going on. And, and how, can, how can I plan my future when there's been this ending and this heartbreak? I'm looking for the truth. I'm looking for clarity. This can also represent... That they're going to come towards you to try and see what you're doing because they want to come and tell you the truth here. That they want to balance things out with you, heal things with you after things have ended maybe between the two of you or you've taken this break. You're both very hard workers. We've got diligence here. Okay. All right. Let's see what your person would like to say to you. For cancer, please. What would cancer's person of interest, whoever's on cancer's mind, like to say to cancer? For the balance of April 2023, what are the updated messages? This is our own Tempted Masculine deck. They're available down below. You will see them there. I do not stock this deck, but you can check out the link below if you're interested. Ooh, and I almost forgot. I'm doing the still the Shacy Tarot giveaway for those of you that are brand new. If you're interested in it, uh, you just saw me pull them, the messages here. I use it for the mutual energies, but you can also use it to do your own readings um, they're very easy, very self-explanatory. So check that out if you so wish. What is going on for cancer and the person of interest? Okay, 
Let's see what they would like to say to you, Cancer. In part two, I'm also going to pull the tarot charms again, the after tarot to find the outcome for the next six months. I'm going to pull some more messages. I'll be clarifying the Ace of Swords. What would they like to tell you? What is this breakthrough? What is this clarity that's coming here? Okay, we'll get more mutual energies, etc. Um, I'm just going to keep digging and see what's going on in May. And then again, the six months with the after tarot. Friends and family are trying to prevent us from being together. I just don't feel strong enough to stand up to them right now. And it makes me feel like a coward. So... I feel like they're keeping an eye on you, okay? But their friends, their family perhaps are interfering in this connection. And, you know, they're causing a lot of um, chaos here between the two of you. And so they've been staying silent and kind of pretending that it's not bothering them, but it really is bothering them, is what I'm seeing here. And so I feel like this is leaving you both with this heartbreak. And so they've really been trying to temper their emotions here. And it's like they, they've been silent, but they're trying to figure out, like, you know, I want to move on away from where they are and come towards you and tell you what's going on here. Because according to their energy here, they can't stop thinking about you. Live your life right now. If we are meant to be, we will be. Someday things may change, but not right now. So they feel like things with their family just aren't, you know, going in the direction that they hoped that they would. And they're interfering, okay? I have some family issues I need to work through, and I hope you understand. So right now, they feel the need to work and through these, this different, these difficult times with their family. Um, and again, it's, it's kind of like they, they see the truth of things, but they also feel like they don't want to stop you from living your life. So they're, they're asking you, you know, if it's meant to be, you'll come together. But right now, they feel like this is something they've got to take care of. And with the Three of Pentacles here, this may also represent that they are talking to other people. can even be an attorney or a friend or somebody they feel is very intelligent on, you know, what they think about the situation. How can they maybe handle it? Because your person feels kind of beaten down right now. They kind of feel like a coward because they don't know what to do. This is what I'm seeing. They don't know what to do. Okay. All right, Cancer, let's start digging into part two. I hope this resonated for you. Leave me comments down below. Let me know. And if you want to get on the giveaway, all you need to do is comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If you don't comment down below and do those things, like button and subscribe, then I don't know who you are. So when I announce the winner at the end of the month, I won't be able to contact you or let you know. Um, I will ship to you no matter where you're located. It's just my way of giving back and saying thank you for supporting the channel. So thank you and um, have a fantastic rest of your week upcoming. Whenever you hear these messages is when you're meant to hear them. And don't again, forget again to check the playlist for your other placements if you know what they are. If you don't go to astrosofa.com, you can calculate for free your other placements as well. Personal readings are available at shacy.com. And for those of you, again, seeing me in part two, I'll be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, I will see you next time. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye for now.